Hello guys, welcome back to a bit of everything channel. Um, I hope you guys are doing well during these tough times. And in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and comparing a new phone, which is the A72, Oppo A72, and we'll be comparing it to the AX7. All right, so I've got my stuff here. I'm gonna open it as well. Comes off. And in the box, I need a box cutter for this, but it's all right. This is what we'll do. I'm gonna rip this open up. And as we can see, the Oppo A72 phone by Optus. Here we are. All right. Um, so with the Oppo A72, it comes in two colors. There is Aurora Purple, the one I have now, and there is also Twilight Black. Um, this phone was, uh, I got this phone online uh, from Optus, the Optus website. And um, yeah, let's have a look into it. Have a look what's inside the box itself. So, removing the plastic and opening underneath. As you can see, this is the package that it comes in. It comes in with another plastic as well, <laughs> sealed. And let's just open it up. All right, let's just rip this off as well. So one of the good benefits about buying an Oppo phone is that they install a tempered glass already when you buy the phone so you don't have to spend extra money on actually doing that yourself. So as we take this out, as you can see, coming down slowly, this is the case and we've got our manuals guy. Oh no, just the case with the, the key for your SIM. And as we can see, here is the phone itself. I can see on the edges it has that purple metallic uh, case and down here it moves down to blue. Alright, anyways, we'll leave the phone on the side. So what's in the box first? If I remove that, we've got the charging cable with the cord over there. Um, this is micro USB-C, this cord here to charge. If I just remove this, I can show you guys. For those who don't know what the micro USB-C looks like. Oops. Let's move that to the side. This one right here. So it's a micro USB-C. Put the USB here. Um, and it does have earphones that it comes with. Um, the earphones is uh, the normal headphone jack right there. And yeah, all right. So with the phone here, I'm just gonna unwrap this and show it to you guys here. I don't know if you guys see, it's not really, it's not tempered glass, but they do have the screen protector all around there. If I turn, as you can see, we have one camera on the top right hand corner. And if we flip the phone around, we've got a couple of other cameras there as well. All right. Done. Specs of the new phone, um, as you can see I got this, uh, the new A72 in the Aurora purple. So for the A72, um, as you can see with the color I've got, it is Aurora purple. It also does come in twilight black as I've said before. Um, it's got a very nice metallic frame, I've turned on the screen already, haven't set it up and we'll go through that later on. Um, so the buttons we have here, this button on the side is the power button and the two volumes over here. We can see that there is a front camera on the top right side there and if we turn it around we do have the camera on the back. Alright, so in comparison to the AX7, my old, old phone, uh, we've got the camera in the middle. We have two volume buttons over there. and power button on the right hand side exactly as the A72 um, and just a dual camera on the top right there for the AX7. Alright, so in comparison to it, uh, in comparison to the specs, 
The A72 has a Qualcomm SDM665 as the processor in comparison to the AX7 which has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 which is uh, slight obviously weaker than the newer model, uh, that being the newer model. Uh, in terms of the RAM, both phones have uh, 4GB RAM, they're on a 4GB RAM. Uh, but where this A72 excels on the AX7 is obviously on the display, which we'll go through that a little bit, a little bit later on. But the battery capacity for the A72 is 5000 milliamps compared to the AX7, which is uh, only 4250 milliamps. All right. Um, all right, so in terms of its storage, the A72 has a 120 gigabyte internal storage with an extra 256 gigabytes if you have a micro SD. And for the AX7, it only comes with 64 gigabytes. However, it can also hold up to 256 extra gigabytes on an SD card. So in terms of its display size, the A72 has a display of 6.5 inches in comparison to the AX7, which is 6.2 inches. And as we can see, the screen size isn't relatively that much of a difference. Uh, however, both are multi-touch captive screens. Um, and so where the major difference comes in is on the A72, the resolution is full high definition, uh, going for a 1080 by 2400 uh, pixel resolution. And for the AX7, it is only a high definition, going for 1520 by 720 pixels. Um, both, however, have 16 million colors within them. And talking about the camera now, as you can see for the AX7, it has a front rear uh, front front camera camera. It is 16 megapixel, and for the main camera, it is 48 megapixels. Um, however, the good thing about the new A72 is it can record in 4K, so extremely high resolution. All right, and for the AX7, the front rear uh, the front camera is a 16 megapixel camera and for the rear it is only 13 megapixel so this phone is mainly used for taking selfies in comparing comparison to taking natural photos however it, it does take uh, relatively nice photos I can say from experience as well all right All right, so I've set up my phone um, just in the actual home screen. As you can see, it's very smooth and very nice uh, to play around with. It's got some of the apps installed, such as Facebook already. It's very useful. Um, Trip.com. Um, it's even got Office Suite uh, and Calendar and everything that you, you really need for your general day to day. It is. Uh, Google Home friendly, so you've got your Google Assistant over there as well, um, along with the My Optus app that where we got this from. All right, uh, if you scroll down from the top uh, left, uh, scroll down actually, you will see that you have your widgets. You have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, notifications, the flash. If I turn that on, as you can see, the flash comes up over there. Um, and yeah, we have the brightness, we have all these other modes, so focus mode, uh, we'll just cut, we just, alright, as we look into the camera mode, um, we see that we have night, night mode over here, um, we have video, uh, we have photos over here, um, portrait mode, um, and also uh, we do have more here so we can add stickers we can record in slow-mo if we want to do a time-lapse or if you want to do a pano or if you really want to take a nice photo you do have um, that expert uh, setting over there all right all right so overall uh, I want to summarize that the phone is 
the phone is really nice. It's got a it's got an amazing design. Um, it does extremely well out there uh, in the market compared to other brands for its price as well. Uh, everything's very sleek. Uh, the design of the phone as well. Um, its actual specs. Uh, is well rounded for its price anyways yeah go so overall the Oppo a72 in the market goes around about $300 currently and the ax7 goes for around about $230 so overall I'd say that you're better off getting the Oppo a72 in comparison to the ax7 um, you're only paying uh, 70 Australian dollars extra and you know you're getting way more from this device compared to the AX7. Overall I'd say the AX7 is good if you're on a budget. Uh, would recommend that if you do want to be a bit more uh, within your budget. So yeah anyways guys thank you for watching my unboxing and reviewing of the Oppo A72. Um, Hope you guys learned something new today and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.